So the next cool feature of Laravel 5.7 is notification localization. What it is? It just going to set the language preference for your notification only. It doesn't matter what your preferred language for your project for your application. It just going to define the particular language just for that particular notification. And let's see how it's going to work with Laravel 5.7 new feature. So we have this Laravel 5.7 and I'm going to create a notification. So PHP Addison make notification and notification name is test notification. Simple enough. And let's open test notification, which is here. And here you can see we are sending these things. So how we can send a notification for that? Let's create a new route. And this route is just to say that send notification. Okay, then giving a closer just for demonstration. And I'm going to say whoever is the logged in user, just notify that person with a new test notification, which is here. That's easy. And we have already configured our mailing system with the mail trap. That means now we can send the email. So let's just grab this route from here, go here. And because we are logged in, now we can send the notification. It's taking time, it's sending the email. So here we should expect a notification, which is here. Very, very basic, very, very simple. But you can see we have not defined any preferred language for our application. That means the language preferred is English. And now we are going to create something uh, for different language. So the introduction to notification, why not convert this with another language? So I'm going to use the Google Translate from where I generally use to translate the comments you probably give a, provide me. So I just put here and translate it to English and Hindi, whatever it is. So let's say I'm going to convert this to French. So this is the French version of the introduction to notification. Let's copy this. And before copying and pasting, let's go to resources, lang and en for English. Here I will create a new file which is called notification.php and let's define php tag and I'm going to return an array. Inside that array I will say title and title is simply this one. So why not cut from here, paste it here. And the same thing we have to do with a new folder and that should be like folder <laughs> and fr is the folder and inside this same file that has to be same note keep this in mind that this file name this file name has to be same the content has to be same the key has to be same but the value has to be different for that particular language so copy from there paste it here and because it's having some error so why not use double quotes and now it's good. So no error. We have two things. That means one for English, one for French. And how we can use it? Double underscore, then parenthesis. And we will say notification dot title. So first thing, notification, which is going to represent the uh, title or the file name. Then second is the key value, uh, key name, which is this title. Okay, that's very easy. But how we can define that? Yeah, we are going to send it but with a French version. So we need to wrap this in a parenthesis and I will say new function locale and the language is fr. So it will grab this word fr from here. If you want to call it French, that's cool. And you need to define it here French also, but I prefer fr short form. So this is good, but in this actually the locale function is now introduced in Laravel 5.7, which is going to change the look, uh, change the language for your notification. And if you go to the test notification, yeah, we have this 
and we are using that particular language whatever is the language just grab the content from the language let's send the email so let's resend and we are waiting for the email 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 and we are getting the email but this time it is now converted to french language instead of english our preferred language for the application is uh, english you can see the language uh, locale where is that <laughs> yeah locale is en for our application but just for that particular notification we have changed the language to french and that's very cool how it's going to useful suppose you are working on a website which is uh, famous for uh, all over the world and you can grab the language or location of the person from the ip address and then whenever you are sending the notification just give the location or the language for that particular person and that will going to send an email or notification in that language so that's good great effort great new feature with level 5.7 if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram and we will meet in the next episode with a new feature till then goodbye